This program contains graphic material, including offensive language. Viewer discretion is advised. I just met an idiot who said that the continent of Mu did not exist and Moors are not found everywhere. I even mentioned the newly found continent of Zealandia since it's also located in the Pacific Ocean like the quote-unquote mythical land of Mu. But he wasn't too bright as he denied the existence of the continent Zealandia and started the whole debate by denying the land of Mu or the Moors origin story altogether. I've never seen someone use ChatGPT as a qualified source but says he doesn't use Wikipedia. Make it make sense. The Moors orally have told us that the original inhabitants of America stem from the land of Mu and eventually became the Olmecs and Mayans and of course the Washita Muirs aka the Mound Builders. Sad part is I don't think many recognize that mounds have been built on every single continent in the world and nearly all are prehistoric. This is the epitome of an empire, the Dugdamoundia Empire. I just met an idiot who said that the continent of Mu did not exist and Moors are not found everywhere. I even mentioned the newly found continent of Zealandia since it's also located in the Pacific Ocean like the quote-unquote mythical land of Mu. But he wasn't too bright as he denied the existence of the continent Zealandia and started the whole debate by denying the land of Mu or the Moors origin story altogether. I've never seen someone use ChatGPT as a qualified source but says he doesn't use Wikipedia. Make it make sense. The Moors orally have told us that the original inhabitants of America stem from the land of Mu and eventually became the Olmecs and Mayans and of course the Washita Muirs aka the Mound Builders. Sad part is I don't think many recognize that mounds have been built on every single continent in the world and nearly all are prehistoric. This is the epitome of an empire, the Dugdamoundia Empire. I just met an idiot who said that the continent of Mu did not exist and Moors are not found ever. Wake up, this is your land, night either. The land that is owed to the black Americans is held in public trust. Until they go and claim their land patents, they'll continue to pay taxes and get evicted and work for us. The fake ones that came down after the wars will continue to be able to claim their heritage. We passed the bills when I was in office. We incarcerated a lot of black people after pumping drugs into their communities. See, uh, what we do is induce bonds off the incarceration and sell the securities on the secondary market. They never balance the books, so we lock them up and keep the money. We'll, uh, we'll never handle the Mexican drug cartels because they work for us. See? Uh, we cut a deal with them to keep the drugs in the black communities just so they can uh, sell the drugs. We monitor and lock them up. This is why they call the drug game the trap. It's a trap for them to go to prison. We took their land, claimed it abandoned, and taxed them. But most importantly, we took their opportunity to compete. We tricked their leaders in the 60s to thinking desegregation was a good thing. It wasn't for them, but for us, we inherited much more. Political campaigns are all a hoax. It's called a two-party system. But our core values are aligned with keeping the people from inheriting what's really theirs. When they claim anything besides who they truly are, uh, it keeps us in business. Uh, really big business. Is this you discussing Indian blood? We're going to judge people by whether they have Indian blood, whether they're qualified to run a gaming casino or not? Uh, I, that probably is me, absolutely. Because I'll tell you what, if you look, if you look at some of the reservations that you've approved, you, sir, and your great wisdom have approved, I will tell you right now, uh, they don't look like Indians to me. And they don't look like the Indians. Now, maybe we say politically correct or not politically correct. They don't look like Indians to me. And they don't look like Indians to Indians. And a lot of people are laughing at it. And you're telling how tough it is, how rough it is to get approved. Well, you go up to Connecticut and you look. Now, they don't look like Indians to me, sir. I said it before and I'll say it again. They don't look like Indians to Indians, and they don't look like Indians to me. The black people are the real Indians, not the Asian-looking casino-owning people. Let's be real, folks. 
Black Americans are the true American Indians. It's amazing how people believe the fabricated stories. Look at the murals in Mexico or the historical accounts of the Virginia Indians. All of the state encyclopedias describe who they were. It's obvious. I'll leave you with this name, Walter Plecker. Walter Ashby Plecker was an extremely racist American physician and public health advocate who was the first registrar of Virginia's Bureau of Vital Statistics, serving from 1912 to 1946. Plecker is responsible for the reclassification of millions of American Indians into what are referred to as black people today. The Indians were once named after their nation, tribe, or empire before terms like American Indian were even made. For instance, the Powhatan Indians were an empire, nation, confederacy, and tribe, being of mixed Iroquois and Algonquin descent. The original people of North America were a powerful and influential people. Walter Plecker's agenda was to destroy and scatter those ancient and royal lineages, not only of the Virginia Indians, but mostly because their treaties and bloodlines tie them to the thrones of Europe as well. The southern tribes in the Mississippi Delta are also tied to royal lineages in America and Europe. Even some of the tribes in South Carolina are connected to royal lineages of North African Berbers called Moors. Black Americans, a misunderstood people starts now. Wake up, this is your land, night either. The land that is owed to the black Americans is held in public trust.